occurred to me at Orange City Council in the last decade as I watched things unfold that we didn't really talk about leadership, we didn't talk about culture, we just went to work and we did our work and we were really technical. We did our work well um, and that's all we ever talked about. We put people in leadership positions with no training at all. That, that's unfair. We put people in leadership positions in a very, let's say it, a boring way. You might do a cert for certificate in leadership, but we never really talked about it. So what I wanted to do is change things so that we empowered our staff. If we were going to make you a leader, for example, um, talking about leadership, then you would get some training, you would get help, you, but not just structural help, you would get emotional help in, in doing that role. And that is a cultural change, and I'm hearing that from staff that it's become quite a valuable thing. Hey, I'm not just getting thrust into stuff. I can talk, I can break down barriers with people. It's okay to be slightly vulnerable about, about these things. It's okay to say, hey, I'm new to this. Can I get a bit of help, please? I found the training very interesting and it was more interesting when everyone got involved. I learned that the way I do things, where I came out in the reach profile, I came out as a coach and it's probably the way I do things across when I do my job and the way I speak to my, the people that work for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm coaching probably all the time. Instead of telling them, I'm letting them find their feet and make the suggestions and okay, we may um, just look at that suggestion and say, oh, why don't we do it this way, but give, let them have the lead. Um, initially, with our workload, I was not excited to be going. We had a lot on, and it was, felt like it was just something else that I needed to go and attend to. Um, but yeah, I did find it very rewarding. I had um, a bit going on, and we were probably headed down a path to a bit of professional burnout, and working with the team in the Future Focus Leaders, I was able to put some things in place to look after myself and bring my best self to work. The, the biggest the biggest benefit I got out of it was actually hearing, meeting and gaining perspectives of other departments and other people in the organisation and other, um, because we do intersect on a whole lot of projects and we all come at it from a different perspective and I think there's lots to be gained from understanding those various perspectives. Oh, I guess um, I learnt from a reach profile uh, how pushy I can be and uh, you know I get things done, I'm, I'm pushy in that way and I guess I learnt uh, the effect it can have on people. Um, also learnt to, so I've, I've looked inside, uh, inside and looked at the mirror um, but I've also been enabled to look inside other people and how they behave, learn. Well, it surprised me how useful it was, Jess. Being at the sort of tail end of my career, I kind of view management training with a bit of cynicism. But I think the really impressive thing was that it's actually changed my behaviour in a couple of areas. So um, the whole hippo idea that there can be false consensus was something that I hadn't thought on previously and it has actually changed the way that I've uh, organised staff discussions to make sure that I don't actually start with the answer. Yeah so I'm going to try and focus on training a new apprentice and you know instilling my values you know that have been um, reflected in what we've learnt through the, the course you know that things that I believe in are in the best interest of the council and you know trying to instill those values in the next generation coming through and because we're a mixed groups from right across council so it breaks that silos down and it brings in what other people do you don't realize what how diverse council is until you sit in a room with people from different parts of council um, I've started to make some changes I've started to make a few adjustments on on that side of it um, because I thought I was a reasonably people-focused person and on my profile, from people to tasks, I was right down here on tasks, completely on tasks. I went, well, there you go, I didn't get that. Um, and um, my um, introverted personality 
uh, shone through in, in its own little way. And I thought, hmm, I have to do more to engage with my people. I have to show more interest in my people. Because I just get on with the job and think, that's what we're all here to do. Um, and they should be focused on that too. But now I realise that sometimes you need to actually just um, walk in their shoes a bit and encourage them and bring them along. And everyone needs some, a different way of doing that. Another part of it I really enjoyed was the, um, the upstander movement and made me realise that a lot of things that I see day to day that probably I'll let go, I shouldn't let go, that you know, they go full circle and come back as a bigger problem later on or you just end up dealing with the problem in the future so you're not actually saving anything by not dealing with it there and then. Well if I see something wrong, someone being bullied, step in and say no, stop, that's not the right way of doing things. I've, I've called out bad behaviour since and I think you need to have that courage to be able to do it. It's, it's easier for somebody to call out bad behaviour when they have support. It takes, it takes bravery to call it out when you're standing by yourself. Um, I was really impressed with how Jess and her partner interacted with the group. Um, the sessions had variety and you know there were different forms of interacting. We weren't always left with the same group, we were mixed around. Uh, the present, even the presentation style changed. I think all of that helped involve people. Oh, I've definitely got a lot more out of it than most, um, most courses we go to. Um, it's good just to come to these things regularly to bring your professional development back into the front of your mind rather than getting bogged down in the day to day. You know, you're, you're thinking about what you're doing and how you're going to approach things rather than, especially myself, very task focused and yeah, charge in and try and get things done and keep trying to get things done even when the workload gets a bit over the top.